Brooke Burns and Mark the the Beast uh, return for the brand new season of Masterminds on GSN. The new season begins today. Uh, Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. You too. Brooke, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about about the show for someone who hasn't seen it before. Three contestants, three masterminds. Tell us how many rounds and and how the show works. Absolutely. So we have um, escalating difficulty throughout the rounds. Some of them are speed rounds. Some of them are multiple choice. Uh, But if in each round, one contestant, one mastermind is eliminated. And the final round is the last remaining mastermind and contestant going head to head in our ultimate trivia challenge. Whoever wins the most questions or gets the most questions right wins $10,000. If a contestant wins against a mastermind, they get to come back again. If they do it twice, they join the ranks of the masterminds and they get to play contestants along with our other masterminds and they steal one of the masterminds podiums. So it's pretty cool, not only for the money, but you know, even more so for the bragging rights. Absolutely on the bragging rights there. Uh, there it has happened uh once or maybe more than once and somebody's been very happy we've seen the converse where somebody desperately wants to be a mastermind and fails at the last hurdle and it's like you've smashed their candy out of their hands they're so distraught (laughs) if i was a normal human being i'd be so upset and distraught but i live for that kind of thing you live for that you're not a normal human being mark we know that part (laughs) (laughs) mark do you prepare like for each taping day, like a, a specific way, or is it just every day you're always looking at, at different trivia and, you know, kind of updating your, your knowledge? Well, it, it's more a generic thing because you never know what's going to come up. I mean, it's often been the case that the, the the masterminds, we've got one question wrong out of 12 and we're out. That's how tough the standard is. And you just don't know what's going to come up. All you can do is hope. Uh, Jenny, I find just being in America helps so you learn about the brands. Uh, I always give the example of Brooke Glass, that thing that my wife loves shopping in Fifth Avenue, New York. And unlike most husbands, when I'm there, I'm actually clocking all the brands of the high-end shoes, etc. If only to know how expensive they are. (laughs) And all the husbands are probably, you know, all the wives are probably looking and saying, like, look at him. He's looking at all the brands, but not knowing exactly what's going on in your mind. Yeah, he's just planning ahead for for the uh, American trivia. I know another way that he prepares, he naps. <laughs> I, I, I'm a father of a, young, of a young boy. And if we have like a, an hour downtime, I have the dad nap. I am completely zonked and zoned out. You're just but resting your eyes, resting your eyes. Again. Yeah, but as your as your mind heals, I feel like subconsciously somehow he's just dreaming about trivia because then he comes back so strong. <laughs> An interesting thing they found in Britain that trivia experts, it was only a small sample, tend to get much uh, more deep sleep than people their own age. And that's a deep free deep sleep, which is associated with memory creation and retention. So maybe yeah. we've literally trained our subconscious. Wow. We're naturally I- deep sleepers. Well, you're the testament to that, Beastie. I, I do. You mentioned Britain, and then also you played in Australia and the U.S. As far as like pop culture goes, as far as music and and movies and s- sports figures, how do you practice for for something like that? And how do you kind of keep control of everything that's you know specific to those different countries? Well, it's fortunately I'm a sports nut, so I've got ESPN back in Britain, so I've I've always got it on, and I know something about the system having said that get ready for here i still don't know the results of detroit green bay last night so i don't know if seattle is still in the playoffs or not don't tell me i'll find out in a bit <laughs> but so you you fortunately your strengths tend to be quite good and america and australia have quite a bit of cultural crossover i mean i, I love hollywood movies which really help so every time on a long distance flight there's about five or six movies that i can catch up with I was just going to say, working with Mark, you know, the first time on the chase, it was his first time in America. So there were a lot of things I think that he was, you know, genuinely surprised by that a lot of the Americans already knew, like 31 flavors. Like everybody on set knew it, but he was like, what are we talking about? And so I brought yeah, him Thank in. you for reminding me about that. Me getting an ice cream question wrong. <laughs> Never again. I want to go we ahead. So happy. And as, and as both of you, Brooke, I'll go ahead and then start with you. But as far as people playing along at home and people doing, you know, pub trivia, you know, at their local establishments here, um, talk a little bit about how to prepare, you know, for that, especially, you know, with all your game show experience and seeing all the reading, all the questions, um, 
you know, how can someone prepare to, you know, to maybe, you know, be a mastermind, you know, contestant one day or, you know, conquer that pub trivia at, back at home? Oh my gosh, I think that's gotta be a question for Mark. I mean, preparation is key. For me, even hosting, I think the discipline of the work that you do ahead of time, I was a ballerina growing up. So, you know, you put in the work ahead of time, you do, you learn all of the technique and then you throw it away and you go and perform. And I feel like, you know, that's what I do as a host. It may be similar with trivia, right? I mean, you're studying, you have all of the knowledge in your brain. It's just not getting freaked out by the lights, the camera, and then of course, beastie looming <laughs> over you. And then the same question for you, go ahead, Mark. It's definitely, a, I've written a, a book about this back in Britain, and ah. it's definitely a thing of practice, practice, practice. Pay attention to the wrong answers, because uh, to quote the great Gary Player, the golfer, the harder I practice, the luckier I get. And it's definitely true with trivia. Um, and hopefully, to be fair, if you were interested in subjects, you tend to get pretty good at them. And I'm lucky, I'm interested in a lot of things. But if you want to be a... a a game show superstar or whatever, you're never too young to start and pay attention to all the wonderful game shows America's got, not least of which the best is, of course, my mastermind, um, and and learn from uh, from uh, from other people. So you go, file that away. I'm always filing away little facts I didn't know and go, oh, I'll, I'll make a note of that. I told Beastie he should start a mastermind's tutoring service. I will be the first to sign up, first to sign up. <laughs> awesome. Well, Learn from Mark. the best, right? Oh, exactly. Or the beast. Brooke and Mark, the beast. Thank you so much for your time today. Masterminds premiering new brand new season here on GSN. Thank you so much. Thanks, Rudy. Thank you, Rudy. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.